Statue of the 75 coming here to you with an amazing piece that finally, after a long wait from me, arrived. It's uh, my favorite character. Well, Shinokuma or Akuma, both of them. Favorite Street Fighter character ever. This is a one third statue, one third scale collectible statue from Pop Culture Shock Collectibles. And Jerry Macaluso did not disappoint. I'm leaving the bag on it. I'm being lazy, but I'm not. Much, I'm not a box reviewer. I'm a statue reviewer. But anyway, this is the front of the box with the the ten or heaven kanji. I mean, uh, yeah, kanji that you symbol that you see on his gi, on his back. And then we see the side of the box with like just Akuma there, the raging demon. And uh, the other side of the box. Same thing pretty much, Akuma, kind of like at a different angle. And then the back of the box, just very plain, Street Fighter Akuma, collectible one-third statue. Of course you have all your licensing and everything from uh, Pop Culture Shock Collectibles. And then of course you got Capcom. And uh, this is number, it's a big one so bear with me, might be upside down. Oh, not upside down. It's number 190 out of 350 on the uh, uh, There really wasn't an exclusive or anything like that. So the 350 made and this is number 190 out of 350. So let's get to the statue Okay Let me just stop by saying the hype is real <laughs> Everyone was going crazy over this thing and it's amazing. I'm so happy with it. So ecstatic speechless couldn't couldn't think of anything to do differently like oh just amazing piece it's so cool that it's one third scale too it's huge it's wow here we see the certificate of the authenticity here with jerry magaluso's signature jerry went back to basics on this guy and sculpted him didn't do any you know digital or anything like that he, he sculpted it by hand and uh wow it's it's awesome they did Nakuma a long time ago where his arms were like outstretched, almost like he was doing Christ on the cross. Um, <clears throat> but this, it just uh, is way better. I mean, it, that was cool, but uh, I don't think Capcom approved it or something happened. I can't remember, but it's it, this is just awesome. So this is, you, you see just the head there with the beads, the prayer beads. But uh, let's move on to the actual statue. My God, it's just freaking majestic you just sit back a little i mean you just can't even take this thing all in it's so big uh, it's just awesome then you see another one-third diorama in front of it <laughs> the wolf predator with the uh, alien below him so i mean you can see the size there they're the same size pretty much and and another thing this piece is solid it is so freaking heavy it says 42 pounds on the delivery but I mean, he feels like the OG Hulk. Like, he just, he feels just like that guy, the original Hulk, Sideshow Hulk. That thing's like 50 pounds, and uh, he is uh, just as uh, heavy there. They're, wow. It's, and it's not just the base. The base is nice and heavy, but wow, Akuma is like solid. I'm just like, oh my god. <laughs> All right, let's get into the details. Let's look at the base here. You know, it's like a clay rock type setting, and it looks awesome. I love how, like, his heels are, like, lifted. This is actual fabric. So I was very upset with the first Akuma, the quarter-scale Akuma, because he didn't have the sandals like Street Fighter Four. I mean, I know it was based on Ultra. He didn't have the roped hands, you know, he had the, the gloves. But I know it was based on a different Street Fighter genre, but I like this Akuma the best, the, the Street Fighter 4, the Ultra Street Fighter 4, the Street Fighter 5, whatever, however you want, want to look at it, but this Akuma with these sandals, it's just awesome, and uh, that is actual real fabric, as you can see, so it's like mixed media, it looks awesome, oh, you're going to hear awesome a lot and amazing a lot out of me in this video, of course he's nice and, you know, pedicured, toenails are nice and glossed over with the paint, um, I like the demon, in the front too that's really cool and you see the other foot as we pan up oh the beast the the physical sculpt is just awesome the veins the paint application 
the teeth. I mean, I'm going to brush his teeth every day. <laughs> the eyes, even when the light up feature is not on, the eyes look awesome. The demon eyes. Oh, it's just so good. Paint application on the lips. Did not miss a beat. It's like a real Akuma is standing here in front of you. It's very hard to turn this guy because he's so solid. So bear with me as I'm trying to spin him. It is not spinning easy because it's so heavy. And of course your 10 or heaven kanji on the back of the gi. Now you ask, oh, does it have a plug? No plug. Kind of would have been cool if there was a plug. All right. Maybe that's my one critique. Maybe if the base had a plug so you can constantly keep them plugged in for the light up feature. Um, but it's not a big deal. Let's get into the light up feature. Let me, uh, let me pan up on this big giant. Get you another view of him. And let's take a peek at how the light up feature works. Let me stand. Here's my hand just to give you a size. How big this guy is. <laughs> Nice job on the beads. No rubbing or anything like that. I mean, obviously, I'm being very careful with it, too, of course. Even the, uh, whatever you want to call it, the elastic scrunchie for his hair is uh, fabric. So that's really cool. This, yeah, let me spin him around, kind of. Hard to do with the camera in my hand, but <laughs> I want you guys to get a good angle of how this works. So this is kind of magnetized. There's a few magnets there. You can see the magnets on his hair. And it just goes in nice and easy. It also makes the beads a lot easier to apply. Obviously, you're not looking at the top of his head. I mean, you do see a slight seam there, but that's nothing. It's, it's perfect. And you never notice it. So, like I said, it just removes with a magnet. Flip the light. There's a little switch. Let's get in there and show you. You can replace the batteries. Made in China. <laughs> Off and on. So let's switch that little switch on. And then you see all the wiring and everything light up back there. Put this back on. And we'll spin this monster around. I'm not going to shut the lights off to show you. But, I mean, the light-up feature is amazing. It's nice and bright. Let's get some good focus there. You can still see the dots in the center of the eyes, which is really cool. Look at those teeth. He just looks awesome. Total raging demon there. Screams Akuma. I love it. I couldn't be happier, Jerry. I'm so happy you finally made this. And I finally got it. And I just can't wait to see Shin. I'm looking forward to seeing Shin. I know Shin's eyes is just white. There's no, uh, like, dots in the middle of the, like, eyes. So it's just white, which is cool also. I mean, this video is not doing it justice. When you see this guy up close and personal, the light-up feature is just amazing. Oh, man, this is perfect. I love how, you know, they did the rope. It's actual fabric rope. And then the the rope on the on the belt too. The rope belt. And the gi. And he's even got like all the sculpture is like amazing. The body sculpt is perfect. Nipples, they stick out. <laughs> like the anatomy is perfect. It's spot on. They did a great job on this. Do one more spin. Every angle you look at him from looks epic. Just looks awesome from every angle. So there you have it. Pop Culture Shock Collectibles Akuma one-third scale statue from Street Fighter. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. I know I enjoyed 
making the video. This guy is just amazing. I can't wait to set him up for his permanent display. All right, guys. Have a good evening.